it. This is the mess. Yes. This would be our life over for me. Half of Jocelyn Liu's front lawn is torn up. Does it drip down the sidewalk? Yes, because the stone boulder was removed by biotechnician. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah. So these, this, there were stones like this all the way across? Yes. And now they're all gone? Yeah. Mud, stones, and sticks fill a space big enough to park a car on. Oh, the first thing I wonder who did that. It took several phone calls for Lou to learn a bell technician was doing regular maintenance. Not for her, but her neighborhood when he hit a water main in February. After I came home uh, Monday evening, I found a big hole here filling water. Lou says she had no notice the work was happening. Just a note on her door that night. The city had shut off her water. That's the pipe that broke. Right, exactly. I keep it as a prov proof. You kept it for proof? Yes. More than 30 hours later, city crews fixed the pipe but left the hole for Bell. On one of the coldest nights of the winter, Lou says city crews told her to run her taps to keep the exposed pipe from freezing. I got the huge water bill last Friday. Her usage went through the roof, and she was charged an $82 shutoff fee for Bell's mistake. I can't believe that. It's unacceptable. It's ridiculous. After months of trying on her own, Lou contacted CBC. Uh, I started calling them since Feb February 9th. I keep talking to different person, so I never get any feedback until CBC reporter talked to them. After our messages, she says Bell returned her call offering to cover the charge, three months of free internet, clean up the mess, and investigate. I'll address this issue to make it more professional on this side, so I hopefully they could do that. Still, Lou says she thinks she'll cancel her bell services. Yeah, I uh, hope very, this story will be over soon. It's not only to me. I hope Bell didn't do this to other residents because I know how struggle it is. So when is that cleanup coming? Well, Bell says they'll be back out here as soon as the weather improves. The company also says it did have the necessary permits and permissions in place from the city before starting this work, though Bell does admit it made a mistake by not notifying the property owner. Something says it's going to follow up with the contractor about, right? So, Charlie, I'm actually going to pick it up here. Can utility companies just show up unannounced outside a home saying they have the city's permission? Sure. So, Neil, it is an interesting question. And the rules say that the utility company, the onus is on them to inform the property owner before work like this does get started. It's an arrangement the city has with a number of utility companies, and it's actually a federal regulation. So if you should come home one day and find something like this on your lawn and you're not sure who's responsible, reach out to 311. The city says they keep track of all of these permits so they do have a record of who's working on your property and when. Neil?